<laughs> okay, let's get to another clip we've never shown before. This is from the beginning of season three. We had Shaq here along with Dan Reynolds, who cheats at games. It wasn't long after our season premiere when we opened with a hit by Imagine Dragons, so clearly I had to start there. Um, so thanks for riding on top of the world. I love this. I, I will be honest with you, I hate working out. It was like something I did in my 20s and 30s and 39, moving on. <laughs> and 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 I the only time I work out though, I love, I literally listen to either Jay-Z or Imagine Dragons. This is no joke. I go back and forth <laughs> to y'all's music. Like, I love your music. It's so fun to work out to. And it's such a great song. And we kicked off our season three premiere with it. Um, we thought it was fun in New York, but thanks for writing. Well, it. yeah, well, I want to say thank you because I don't know if you remember this, but uh in the very beginning of our band, before we were signed, I was going to college at Utah. In Utah, I actually got kicked out of college, reapplied, got into college. That's a whole other story. But um, Seems like a fun one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there, uh, there was a Utah's Got Talent competition that my band entered, yeah. and we won it, and we got to open for you. Oh my God, was this yes, a big festival? Yes. Kind of it, yeah, yeah, it was like an outdoor festival. Yeah. And, and yeah, so we got to open for you, and that really kicked off our career in a lot of ways. So I don't think I don't think Imagine Dragons actually would be a thing if it weren't for you. D what? Yeah. No. I'm dead serious, true. yeah. I'm that's serious. not true. But do you want to know what I remember from that show? And I'm not sure if Jason or some of my band will remember this. This is a real story. From that show, we were in Utah, right. and it was outside, and I don't know if you remember this too. This girl, I kept looking at her and from the audience, and I was like, Man, her outfit is strange, right? Like it's moving weird. And I was like, oh my God, she was in body paint. Like she was naked, just in body paint. And what was moving was like, you know, her, her goods. And like, and I was like, and I kept, and she was like, Kelly, like just so into it. And I was like, does she think I'm Kiss? Like, does she think I'm like, like who does she think is up here right now? Like I'm a total pop star, like not around. And she's full on naked, just body painted. That's what I remember from that show. That was, like, that <laughs> that was, was me. I didn't see it. No, it was a girl. That was I'm me. Sure. And I'm like completely sure it was a girl. I was like, why is her outfit moving weird? Those are her boobs. What? And I was like, what? It was a weird. I was like, are you allowed to do this in Utah? Utah's a fun place. Um, I was like, it's very free. Um, anyway, it was a fun show, that show. Um, there's no segue, Dan, for that. Um, is it true that your daughter um, talked you into doing career day at her school? Is that true? That is true. Uh, I, you know, I, That's I, intimidating. Yeah, it's one of those things where, you're, and I'm sure that you've dealt with things like this, but. You don't, like, I want my daughter to have a really normal, you know, life with school. I don't want people to, to look at her differently because her dad is who her dad is. But yeah. so she came home and asked me to, to come do career day, which I'm already, I'm an introvert. I, I really don't go out very often. Uh, and the thought of that actually gave me crazy anxiety to go to a school of kids and be like, hello, I'm Dan from Imagine Dragons, blah, blah, like, radioactive. Like, for <laughs> me, I was like, oh, my gosh. Um, but on the same note, I was not going to say no because I, because of what I do. So I said, yeah. I thought about it, and I said, yeah, yeah, I'll come do this. And, uh, and when I went and met the kids, it was really cool because ki kids love Imagine Dragons. They come to all, like, shows of Imagine Dragons really range. It's like family affairs. Yeah. Um, so I went, and of course, like, the first question was like, can you sing this song a cappella? And it was, which is like everything I hate to do. But the, so it's the kids, <laughs> so I did it. You're having a full on panic attack. I, I really was. I really was. Oh but, uh, but after me was the, a guy walked in from NASA. And so all the kids were like, Psh. Who cares? Get out of here, Imagine Dragon guy. <laughs> he's he's gone. Yeah, he built rocket ship. So I was like, okay, this worked out. So it's cool. Yeah. That's so funny. I wouldn't have pegged you as a, even like first when we first talked, like after your show. You're such an extrovert to me. I am on stage. I feel really free on stage. Uh, but I really like when it comes to everything outside of that. I, yeah. I've had the same like two friends since I was you know 12 years old, and oh, wow. I never I never really go out uh, much. So that's why you know Shaq is my friend since he's I've been 12. One of 12. So <laughs> he's one of my two friends. So he is one of the two. Yeah. It's the only reason I came on today. Is I knew <laughs> I knew that my friend would be here. Thank so. you, thank you.